So about a couple weeks ago, I put out a tweet and it said this, my favorite 2K in tears since 2009. Now, I put a lot of thought into this and a lot of deliberation. I was thinking on it for a minute. And this is the list I came up with. At the very top, 2K 16 and 11. Right underneath is 10, 15, and 14. Underneath that is 12 by its lonesome. Then we got 13 and 18. And then at booty butt cheeks at the very bottom is 17. I thought 2K 17 was the worst 2K of all time. Okay, that changed yesterday. Let's talk about why. I'm not gonna lie, it's been like, Four or five months since I've walked into this arena. So this is oh like, this is like, this is like Kobe coming back after retirement, man. It feels fantastic. Oh, Jesus man. Christ. Hey, I'm about to miss this, Junior. Yeah, watch this, watch this. I believe in you, I probably believe in yourself. Yeah. Oh, is y'all gonna get it though? I'm calling ankles on this play. Watch this. Some hippity hop. Watch this. Hey. <laughs> Yo, brother. Before we move forward, this is my list. Plenty of people disagreed with said list on Twitter. You ain't gotta agree with the list. But yeah, I came to the conclusion 18 is the worst of all time in NBA 2K history. All right, so let's get into the story. So I wanted to hop on last night and do a video kind of just trolling. Not really trolling, but here was the plan. I went in one of my group chats and I said, Joe, let's play some Prime today. Phantom said he's down. Shoot said he's down. Cole the Man said he's down. Who else we had? iPod King Carter said he's down. Now, we all haven't played in a while. I knew we were going to be rusty. And we were playing on my team. And I don't know where it is on the rankings, but it has a pretty decent record. So we'd likely be playing some good competitors. I knew we were going to lose some games just because a lot of them didn't have comp Prime experience, which doesn't really mean much. Let's be honest. Okay, so here's maybe the first thing. In Pro-Am, really all you need is a point guard and a center. If you're playing shooting guard, small forward, or power forward, all you're really doing is sitting in the corner and hoping they leave you open. I, I, I feel like a pylon out there. But that's the best way to win games in competitive matches. It's either you want five out or abuse a four out pick and roll. So we experienced a lot of that in our first game. This game clown. Oh, he just he oh, bumped he through me. He definitely make that. Oh, we got nervous. What's his bill? What's oh, oh, good, good. Slash rebounder. Oh, hey. yeah, by the way, my break, my break started working. Call your icons, man. You got to call your icons if you're on the break. That's an amazing shoot. pick, my There's shit. You <laughs> see that pick I set for you, Playboy? Got it. IQ, nigga. Out of here. All right, out of here. Five out. Stay right there. The ball's coming just... to you. Starting now. Ah. Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. Get that blow by action. I oh, he did. Yeah, he was looking like Demarcus Cousins out there, man. So the end of the game came, and we were kind of just struggling by against a pretty bad team. And then um, Phantom decided to do this. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even know I had the ball like for half the little dribbles, bro. Top, top. All right, all right, all right. I like it. <laughs> Charge, baby. Hey, hey, I fought. Time for that. Give me the poster. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Threes, no threes. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's not. They messed up. Ah, they went for a two. Dummies. Be careful. Bro, you, oh, you oh. passed to me, bro. Because, you fouled? Bro. Why would you foul? You I don't know. That was a timeout. And I, was, and I still was holding it still. That's what. Can't call timeout on defense. What are Yo. you guys doing? Now nobody foul. I'm about to foul Watch right them hit this. Five, five says they hit it. They hit this. Oh, yo, I was about one shot away from just Bro, disbanding the team. Game. All right, you pass me the ball right there. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Why are we switching? Oh, yo, there's no spacing. Everybody's just playing kindergarten. Oh, oh pa, you yeah. like 35 feet tall, bro. Yeah. <laughs> iPod signature move is just running into the opponents. <laughs> we got a score right here, bro, please. Top, top, top. Too late. I don't know what you want me to do. There we go. Yes, oh, Adam! Bro, I had no man. faith in you, man, but you proved me wrong. Oh, I'm hitting green lights all day, bro. No. Woo! Oh, hey, swing that he right. has the ice in his veins, bro. Come on, come on. We go, we go, we go. Look at the cross, look at the cross, look at the cross. Right here, right here. Yo, you wait the top! Yo, what are you doing? 
you so bro, what are you doing? You so old, bro. Oh, we gotta hope he he's not gonna miss. Nobody misses free oh, throws, man. Bro, y'all stole something serious. Oh, man. Jesus, guys. <laughs> Fucking pass an open player, man. Oh, yeah. We need so to have my too. That's a foul. Yo! Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, it, it's safe to say overtime didn't go our way neither. Okay, so uh, whatever. We lost game one against the garbage team. That's what I was going for. Honestly, when I started the video, I thought I wasn't gonna be angry at all. I thought everybody else was gonna be angry. That's why I was recording. I thought it was gonna be incredibly entertaining with people pointing fingers, and that's what I thought. Okay, well, the reality was I was the one getting angry. We started game two. Game two, we're playing one of those like pseudo tryhard teams. They're not good, but they try to be good. They're trying to get to good. It's like the Chicago Bulls. Like they might think they're good because they added all these new pieces, but really they're still the Chicago Bulls and they lost Jimmy Butler. I'm not wearing a, Ch I'm wearing a Chicago Bulls shirt. Ignore that. As the game went on, I was starting to get in infuriated by what was happening. Just simple things, because keep in mind, this is my first time back playing Pro-Am in like five months. Just simple stuff like being able to spot up without leaning all the time. How's a shooter lean? If I'm Kyle Korver and I come up, I'm pulling up buckets. I'm not doing no... So although the video was designed to maybe get other people angry and get some entertaining content, I was the one getting angriest, and uh, here's what happened. They made me lean, because of course. Why not? What kind of fucking sharpshooter leans on Man, I can't stand 2K, bro. I can't, I can't stand this game. Unbelievable. <laughs> he didn't walk away from the, he didn't walk away from set, bro. Go, no, stop. Hands right. up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Boy. That hits. <laughs> he made, ah, oh, come on! This game is trash! Any fans of Vince, bro. So are they delaying? Man, what the fuck? Fuck! What is that? Whatever. Yeah, let's, let's just go play Fortnite, y'all. Actually, that is the fucking mood right now. Yeah, I'm tired of PS4, lie. bro. <laughs> tired. So I wanted to find out why it was that I got angry. NBA 2K18, how good of a game is it? And I was just angry saying everything, and, and then I said this. Uh -huh. Ain't it crazy how all they need to do is nerf two moves, and it would mm -hmm. change everything, and they don't do it? That's crazy to me. Oh, oh, R. Oh, R. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that brings me to where I am now. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, AJ, maybe you're just trash. You might be new here, all right? No, you're definitely new here. NBA 2K never really took a lot of skill. But I, I came to the realization, right? Because the reason I ranked 2K17 so low was because I believed wholeheartedly the fact that they didn't add new parks, they added all these restrictions and caps to the My Team auctions, no improvements to my career, my GM. On top of that, probably the most game-breaking things in terms of gameplay, first of all, 5 out still existed, although it wasn't nearly as overpowered, but the main thing was brick wall. All they had to do was patch brick wall. Just nerf brick wall a little bit, and they never did it. They left the gameplay broke, and they left people abusing that Hall of Fame brick wall screen the entire year. But then I sat back and thought, they're doing the same thing for 18, but worse. And it, it, it is that simple as to nerf snatchbacks and blowbys. Do you know what kind of nerf the five out would get if those two animations weren't as prevalent? You can't run a five out, because you rely on those animations in a five out to get yourself open in a lot of situations. That doesn't even include all the grayness that is the playground that we have to play in every single day. That doesn't even include the fact that there was never any new content added. The fact that the servers somehow continuously keep getting worse. I'm getting these mega high latency games and I said this. The latency is so high, bro. I could literally play in Fortnite servers in Australia and have lower latency. So then I thought, what is it that's keeping NBA 2K18 higher for me than NBA 2K17 on my list of all time games? And I couldn't think of one. What, they added a playground? Hallelujah, level design at its most basic form 
is not the craziest thing, especially because they never tried to keep it lit at any point in this year. They kind of just let it go. They built it and thought, that's enough. We don't need to add any content for this mode that they supposedly spent so much effort on. And then I thought to myself, what would I rather do right now? Would I rather play on NBA 2K17 with the abusive brick wall, those repeated parks, and uh, there was definitely a lot of like cheese that went on in that game, for sure, for sure. Or would I rather be playing 2K18, where the skill gap is lower than ever, and all people have to do to score is hit blow buys and snatchbacks, regardless of skill or archetype, they will find a way to succeed using those. And I just answered, I would, I would much rather be playing 17. And if that's the answer, then I don't know how 18 can be any better than it on the all-time list. So I, I made an adjustment and I put out this tweet out of just straight pure anger and mental clarity. I have changed my mind. NBA 2K18 is the worst basketball game in franchise history. Worst. worst. 2K17 can now settle as the second worst. So that's how I came to this conclusion, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, in the comments, drop me your list. It's not, well, it might, it's probably gonna be the same as mine, because my list is flawless. <laughs> but I wanna see what you have to say, whether you have a different list or whatever. What's your favorite 2K in tiers? I'm pinning my favorite one, or maybe the most ridiculous one, or the most insightful one, whatever. Just do something you think I'll like, and I might pin it. And I came to realization, guys, I cannot play Pro-Am. I might still play Park, but where I think I'm having the most fun on 2K18 is team up. Yeah, team up. Just 5v5 with 10 guys that I know playing with actual NBA characters that aren't so limited in terms of archetypes. Like you could only shoot and even when you shoot, you're leaning, you're doing one of these things because apparently you're not a real sharpshooter. You don't know how to do a catch and shoot even though you have the Hall of Fame badge. You're still gonna <clears throat> jump like that when you jump all slow with low shot percentages and Team up is the way to go. It's the most fun mode for me, and I cannot be caught playing that five out stuff ever again on Prime. Just won't do it. I repeat, I will not do it. I cannot just sit in the corner all game and then maybe one out of every five plays, cut to the rim, <laughs> or cut to the basket, you know, <laughs> do a rap. <laughs> I'm not doing that, it's boring. 2K, your game has to be more diverse, man. It's stale the way it is. Everybody runs the same exact thing. Whether it's a garbage team or a great team, just some do it better than others. It'd be fantastic if there was a skills gap in this game, but I know everybody would complain because the people who are bad would be outlined for being bad. Everyone would know you're bad. That's how games with skill gaps work, guys. The good players shine because they're good at the game, they put the time in. The bad players are stuck at the bottom, and everyone knows they're stuck at the bottom because it's ever so clear that they suck at the game. But that's how it works. It's sports. Some people win and some people lose. And I'm sorry, bro. If you're, if you're afraid to lose, then you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be playing sports in real life. You shouldn't be playing any video game because losses come with life. You either get better or you just continue to take L's. All right, that's where I'm gonna end the video. Um, I went through a process last night. Hey, remind me not to play Prime again. I'm gonna be on team up. Also, I stream almost every single day on Facebook and I'm gonna start doing those team up streams on my Facebook page. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Go ahead, click it. Follow the Facebook page, all right? I'm streaming usually around the evening after I upload videos. I'm out. Peace.